Hey, what's up, y'all? Kenzo is back for more Witcher 2. I'm in Chapter 3. I'm moving along, gonna figure out where this uh, sorceress lady is so I can smack her upside the head. I'm, I, don't, I forget why I'm doing this, but I need to find her, so let's find her. Here we go. All right, well, I guess I'll just walk up to the guards because I, I don't know where the sewers are at. I thought they were down there. They ain't. Are they this? Oh my god! Fuck it! Oh god, I got the whole level. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Mistakes were made. Oh god. Let's just run to the guards. <laughs> hey, fellas. I don't believe you killed Foltest. I didn't. But a bounty is a bounty. I'm sure you understand. As a professional, <laughs> it's nothing personal. <sighs> One more windbag. Oh, damn you and your shield. Ow. Oh, damn your shield. Okay. What the hell are you barking at? What are you looking at? What? Is there something behind the wall? <gasps> I killed the dog! I didn't want to kill the dog, man. It's a lovely day today. Okay. Dog! Alright, let's not kill the dog. I get in there. Hey. hey. At your service. Now you tell me. I don't work with sorceresses. This is no job for me. What's going on? Are you about to fight? The Conclave has forbidden dueling. You can't just back out. We agreed. We have commitments to fulfill. You did take an advance on your fee. And I'm keeping it. Don't you follow me. Witcher Geralt. A sight for sore eyes you are. May we speak? Didn't 
expect to see you again. Certainly not here. Loch Muin is an intriguing place. For scientists especially. We've mounted a small expedition and require protection. What kind of expedition are we talking about? We have irrefutable evidence that Ep de Hena's laboratory is located in Loch Muin. We need an armed man to protect us from the filth in the sewers. They're infested with monsters. The details you'll get from our employer, a sorceress. All right, I'm willing to help. <laughs> you won't regret it. Where do we start? We've gained access to an ancient crypt where mages were laid to rest. It's beneath that tower. Our companions await us there. I'm getting a little sidetracked here, but yeah, it's okay. We've broken through in the right spot. Quiet. Stand ready. He killed Vanamar. And many other mages. I know who he is, Cynthia. In the same city as Philippa, and you didn't even bother to change your name. That takes balls. Philippa's out of the picture. She's been arrested. And I was supposed to die, but I didn't. Grave error. I'll make you a deal. You don't get it. You turned Triss into a cold stone. I'm having a hard time trying to figure out why I shouldn't turn you into a cold corpse. She is alive and well. We decompressed her successfully. That there were no complications. And the interrogation after she was decompressed? Because you did interrogate her. I personally supervised it. We presented the tools, gave her a few bruises, and that sufficed to get her to talk. <laughs> Cynthia, tell him to shut up or I'll kill him. Silence, Adelbert. That's an order. Witcher, help me complete my mission. Help me open Der Henna's laboratory. What'll you give me? I've read the intelligence reports. I know your past. There are things in there, important things you don't remember. I could force you to tell me. I don't think so. Will you torture me? We both know you couldn't. <clears throat> we'll come back to that. About that offer. Fine. I'll help you open the laboratory. In exchange, I'll tell you all I can. Do we have a deal? Yeah. Are we likely to encounter drabblers? Or a related species? Perhaps other monsters? That is how this world's built. Sewers are infested with monsters. Ooh, that was a lot of orange right there. Holy shit. No. You stink. Oh 
my god. Point to that. Point to that. All right, uh, where's the entrance? Is, is it, oh, all the homies. I fought the undead. I can't wait to see Professor Levenstein's face when he hears it. Okay. Uh, oh my God, this is like way better than like the thing that I'm using. Oh uh, yeah. All right, I need to drop some stuff. Let's see here. I'm no rats that run around sewers. What are we looking for, anyway? Some graves, I heard. Graves? So maybe there is something in this forest. Shut your traps. Let the sergeant to hear. We've been deep shite. But it is a good idea. We've got company. Redanian bastards. The entrance must be somewhere here. If our experts are to be trusted. Der Hanna dabbled in illusions, among other things. He also experimented heavily with golems. Golems with the power of speech, supposedly. They knew nothing of poetry, but... Will you two shut up? Yes, it's an illusion. I found a weak spot. Stand back. Later. Later, Elorn. Lisa Elorn. Later, dear. At times I'm caught. You can get my kind of feet. Though I have no needles, they say I am piercing. What am I? Could be a trap. Typical of dear Hannah. He was a genius with a penchant for mischievous jokes, like a child. So a couple of adults, purported experts, should have no problem solving this. Indeed, it's trivial. The answer is pain. Incorrect. Oh my god, man down! No! Impossible! So many years of research together. Why did we ever embark on this? Uh, let me save in case I'm too dumb to figure this out. All right, here we go. Pleasant or terrible. I come at night or in daytime, short or long, but yours alone, essential. I am. Um Hang on. Say that one more time. Can you please repeat the riddle? Pleasant or terrible. I come at night or in daytime, short or long, but yours alone essential. I am Oh, no. oh, yeah. Well, if it's, if it's not that, then it's time. We must go on. What? I'm seen to fly, described as hard. I can be your currency and heal all wounds. 
tests, but not many things can stand my test. I, I wasn't really paying attention. Can you please repeat the riddle? I'm seen to fly, described as hard. I can be your currency and heal all wounds, but not many things can stand my test. Snow? Incorrect. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm usually pretty good at this shit too. Apparently not. Let's try this again. Imagine the books. Capable of kindness and cruelty, I take victims when I sour. I can be on your side or wrong you. I bring gifts, though you already have me. Love. Incorrect. I suck at this. Come on, man. And they're different every time. Damn it. Let's get this over with quickly. Let's get this over with quickly. Pleasant or A day. Incorrect. Oh, I Enzo Big Brains not working. Imagine the books, the potions. Imagine the books. All right, all right, all right, move, damn it. I'm seen to fly, described as hard. No, no, all of that. Let's get this over with quickly. Imagine the books. Capable of kindness and faith. Correct. It's going rather well so far. Not for everybody. Right. Someone's been here recently. Kill the archers first. No, I don't want to do it again. Oh shit, let me save because I'm sure I'll get this wrong a few times. I cannot hope. A group of travelers wandering through the dark. Three guides above them, so three were marked. At night they trailed a drake serpentine and a silver lady shining and fine. If only her visage she would deign to unfold. By day they followed a mountain vault. Its riches untold. Did I hear someone complain about the riddles being too easy? Let's think this through. There are nine alcoves, a fresco in each. That's three groups of three frescoes. The riddle mentions three guides above the travelers. We must examine the frescoes, seek answers there. Mm. 
I'll advise you about the riddle, but I will not take part in disarming the device. I've got a bad feeling about this. Um. Okay. Cool. I like how it's kind of three dimensional. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Am I supposed to be doing something with these, or I just I I, I can't remember all this. There's no freak. That's pretty cool looking. Holy shit. Um. All right. Well. All right. Well. A group of travel at night. What do you think of the first verse? I would say it describes a serpentine dragon swallowing its own tail, which represents infinity and thus time. The hourglass likewise symbolizes time. In this case, the time of the traveler's journey. I believe it's the dragon constellation. It would be visible at night. What's more, sources on alchemy invariably portray dragons as winged. And as an accomplished alchemist, Dehenna would also be a competent astrologer. The verse must refer to the constellation. In alchemy, the winged serpentine dragon represents prime matter. An essential component in the process of alchemical transformation. The verse seems to indicate the allegory illustrating that transformation. I'm gonna go with the constellation because that was the first thing I thought of when it was talking about it. It should be the dragon constellation. I shall take that one. What do you think of the second verse? To my mind, it speaks of the white rose, symbol of the order of the flaming rose. You see, the fresco itself resembles a coat of arms, and in heraldry, silver is rendered as white. So the silver lady and white rose are one and the same. I think it describes the full moon. In alchemy, the moon represents both silver as a metal and the feminine element. The order remains largely unknown in the south, so the white rose seems unlikely. Every Nilfgaardian, on the other hand, has heard of the Imperial Nausicaa Brigade, which has the death's head as its symbol. The brigade's name is female, and they say death follows a unit. So the Silver Lady could very well be Nausicaa or the Death's Head. It's the skull, or at least it should be. Allow me. What do you say to the third verse? It describes the precipice, the ravine amidst mountains. An ancient rule in alchemy states, as above, so below. The vault is the ravine into which the riches of the mountain flow. We must read the third line literally. To me, it suggests the Mahakam Mountains and its mines, from which dwarves and gnomes extract many ores that are invaluable to alchemists. Those mountains are a vault in and of themselves. The verse is not literal. In many legends, towers are in fact vaults, which the hero must penetrate in order to rescue an imprisoned princess or find a long-concealed magic item. The mountain vault is the tower. The verse describes the tower, I'm sure. I'll stand next to that fresco. Let's see if we can solve this. Take your places. Count me out. I want to live. As you will. They didn't auto kill me, so there's that. All right, I like don't want to do this over and 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 over. And over, and over. Oh, I was close. A group of travelers at night. It 
it should be the drop. I shall take that. I think it allow me. The mine entrance, I'll stand next to that. Let's see, take your, count me. And down. Our expedition has grown thin. Such a shame. A golem? So Darehenna's legend is true. It is no more than an obedient machine created to follow orders and kill. Not unlike our Witcher. Hmm. So I guess we should get along famously. Hugh, what do you know about golems? I don't run into them in every forest, but any good bestiary describes golems at length, and I've read more than my share of those. Geralt, I'm not questioning your knowledge, but I should be the one to... Actually, you are questioning my knowledge. Listen, I know what I'm doing. I'll try to get it to reveal the word that'll deactivate it. Or I'll just mess with its head. Break the code. So now we've got a burglar in our midst. Be my guest. Try. My intentions are good. As are mine. Know, however, that this may change. Der Hannah must have been pretty lonely if he gave you eloquence. The master made me a guardian. Nothing less, nothing more. And you, provided you stand there, are a guest. Did your creator give you a name? I'm called Obedience and Unyielding Persistence. I am a guardian and the humblest of servants. A golem's name is the word that gave it life and that can take it away. You must have a name. I own nothing. Everything belongs to my master. How could I divulge the name if I exist solely to protect my creator's property? Powerful magic created you. Derhanna was a true master. He is still, since his mastery survives. Can I ask you for the name word which brought you to life and which can deactivate you? Do that, and I shall consider you an intruder. Can we discuss the program that controls your behavior? Of course not. As a conscious being, you must be lonely here. You are wrong. The pain of the world, melancholy, lies within the domain of emotions and feelings. My thoughts are governed by pure logic, restricted by my program. But you can learn. They say that a penchant for philosophy can only come from curiosity. In my case, it comes from the will of the master, who liked to speak with me. And do you feel a need to discuss? I feel nothing. I just have that need. I have other questions. Do you remember your creator? Of course. I was summoned into being by Master Dehenna. I abide by his will, by his power, by the necessity encased in my stone bowels. Dehenna is dead. His word, which animates me, lives on, as does his legacy, which I protect. Empires will rise and fall, rivers will shift their courses, but I will remain obedient to one master on my eternal watch. Dear Hannah must have been an exceptional man. Can you tell me about him? I guard everything that belonged to the master including his privacy, which he valued highly. I can tell you nothing. You're not an automaton. You're self-aware, and you think you can make decisions. You're wrong. I am eloquent and can discern between guests. 
pests and intruders. I can also deal with the latter. But everything I say and do is limited by my restrictive program. By the way, as an automaton, I am immune to all charms. Stop the intruders. Take that. Well, I tried. I was actually enjoying talking to that thing. Maybe you'll get that promotion. Masking illusion. I'll try to disperse it. Later, Elon. Lisa Elon. Later, dear. It's a record player. Nice. What is it? You've done your job. You'll be paid and paid like the scholars were. They died once they were no longer useful. They were never useful, but Cynthia insisted. Fortunately, they were so kind as to remove themselves without my help. I'm not about to be that kind. Adelbeth, you know what you're to look for. Yes, ma'am. It's a prototype megascope. I didn't know it had survived. What's it do? The artifact detects an emotional bond with a person. Its user need only focus on that person and the device will establish a connection. Great tool for a spy. Yes. Time you fulfilled your end of the bargain. What do you know about my past? You were a rider of the Wild Hunt. I read the reports. Don't the North Guardians have anything better to do than write reports about witchers? Not about witchers, about you. You are the sole person to have been a member of the host and survived. sure you'd try to cheat me. Gotta admit I was wrong. You were sure and you came with us anyway. I was curious. I wanted to see what Nilfgaard was after. Your payment. You were well worth the coin. I wonder where we'll meet next. What it'll be like. Who knows? Perhaps we'll be allies once more. Okay, bye. Uh, how get out Damn it. I'm too heavy. Fuck. I need an in, man, or something. I can store shit. So, dude, I just have to fight my way through all these. Fuck it. Let's go. Ow. There's no way, look at how many people there are.
It's all name people too. This can't be the right way. There's no free way. There's no way. I, I mean, I'm just killing dudes for like no fucking reason. their attention. Here. I'm in prison again. What are you doing here? I worked awfully hard to see Philippa Eilhart in chains. I doubt you'll be so witty once we're standing side by side on the scaffold. Unlike you, I've done nothing that would get me hanged. To them, you're a Kingslayer. I assure you, Radovid's torturers will make you admit to anything. Even intercourse with trolls. Radovid's no idiot. He knows I'm innocent. Besides, I helped him once. Radovid is a politician. He'd gladly show the world he's an avenger of fallen kings. Sure, but before he does that, he'll gladly hear about your exploits in Bergen. By aiding the rebels, I weakened Hensolt's position, and that's of paramount importance. Radovid is king of the hill. He has the deciding vote during the summit, thanks, among others, to me. Is that why he dumped you in this dungeon? This, Witcher, is a little misunderstanding. Good old moment, huh? Sorry, my like, camera was like hell out of focus. Did you know from the start that Saskia was a dragon? I had suspected she was not what she seemed to be for some time. Though I did not learn the truth until she fell poisoned and I could examine her thoroughly. I've seen the list of antidote ingredients. Not a word about the Rose of Remembrance. Well, we all prefer to have loyal allies. The Rose of Remembrance is very powerful. Even as a she-dragon, Saskia could not resist my spell. Why don't you summon her? Use some help now. Dimeritium blocks all magic, telepathy included. Someone's coming. Your Majesty. I've waited long for this meeting. You left Redania so suddenly I had no chance to give you the send off you so richly deserved. Your Majesty, I fail to understand why I have been arrested. I've done nothing but serve Redania's interests. Supporting the rebellion, undermining Hensolt, risking my own reputation on your behalf. I'm no longer the little boy who believed your every word. Why do you do this, Radovid? I was there at your most trying hours. Without me, you would not be the man you are. I don't understand. You understand very well. You conspired against my father, Vizimir, and against me. The entire Redanian court once trembled in fear of Philippa Eilhart. Untrue, sire. You must let me explain. What are your charges, your majesty? Ambassador. Triss Merigold was kind enough to compile a list of persons making up the secret society known as the Lodge of Sorceresses. Some Nilfgaardian sorceresses were members as well, but you need not be bothered with them, my lady. Triss, you're mad! The Lodge ordered Demaven killed. It ordered Foltes killed. I suspect you played a part in my father's death. And if I released you from the Dimeritium, you'd kill me too. You're finished, Eilhart. There will be a trial, due process, everything as it should be. But know that you shall not wriggle out of this. You shall be convicted of conspiracy, treason, 
and regicide. They'll rip your flesh from you in bits before they burn you at the stake. Throughout my childhood, I felt your cold stare on the back of my neck. When I issued orders, my subjects would search with their eyes for Philippa Eilhart's gesture of consent. The entire court at Tretagor looked on as you humiliated me. All Redania laughed behind my back. You taught me to look everyone in the eye. Forced them to lower their gaze, do you remember? A king must never show weakness, uncertainty, you said. I've mastered that skill. Yet there is one I could never force to submit. You. You've one chance to shorten your suffering. Admit to everything, here and now, in the Ambassador's presence. Look me in the eye and repent. Submit. As you wish. Torturer. Put out those vile eyes. You're making a grave error, sire. We will talk again, witch. I refused to believe it when they told me Geralt of Rivia was in my dungeon. The Geralt I know wouldn't let himself be captured. I was really hankering for a tour of your dungeon, sire. What's so interesting about it? The guests. I apologize for the dismal company you're in, Witcher. Fortunately, Eilhart won't be with us much longer. I beg your mercy. Not for myself, but for Triss Marigold. Your friend is now in Ambassador Fitz Estelin's hands. I know. But surely Shillard won't deny you a small favor, sire. Forgive me, but I can't be sure that I won't require grander favors from Nilfgaard. The fate of entire nations will be decided in this city. Individuals are irrelevant. The Nilfgaardian ambassador mentioned an organization of sorceresses. Just so happens I'm interested in the plans of this lodge. Those plans should interest no one, because the lodge will soon cease to exist. I've nothing against you personally, Witcher, but you've gone from being an uninvited guest to being an awkward witness. I understand I'm in for an extended tour. You certainly shan't leave here before the summit ends. I'm flattered, sire, but you overestimate me if you think I could influence it in any way. Politics is like a complicated puzzle. Every piece may prove useful, or equally useless, even harmful. A breakthrough awaits us here at Loch Muin, by my hand no less. This will be no second, Thaned. Soon, everyone will learn what the Redanian King is capable of. You'll excuse me, but it's time for the summit. Radovid is capable, but too young. He has yet to understand that only the dead remain truly silent. Because Redania is doing Nilfgaard a favor, I feel obliged to help the king in return. Let Triss go. That would be foolish. If there truly is a place we go after leaving this Vale of Tears, you'll meet her there soon enough. Allow me to relieve the Redanian executioner. What favor do you mean? You can tell me. Just like you said, the dead keep their secrets. That's true, but I prefer to be cautious. I promise to reveal every last detail as soon as your body is cold. If you won't live to see it. Loch Muin's in for a huge surprise. Both the mages and the kings. Nobody likes others to decide for them. That's especially true of kings. You're dangerous, Witcher, and too independent. In time, Radovid will thank me, and you won't be alone. Kill him, but beware his sorcery. Hold him, heart. Get 
me out of here. I need some answers first. Oh, look at all the options. Fuck, man. How does the spell work? Saskia's will and mine are one. She cannot resist me. But fear not. There's no suffering involved. She merely believes me to be the most wonderful person in the world. As if she were in love. You know what's most beautiful? In spite of all this, she seems unchanged. She's retained her charm, her valor, her honor. Where's Saskia? When I was arrested, she was with Sheila. They must be on their way to the deliberations by now. I didn't track you alone. Yorvith can't wait to see you again. My death would change little. Yorvith and all like him have no right to judge others. Was Schiller telling the truth about the Lodge, the assassinations? He said exactly what Radovid wanted to hear. Half-truths, musings stripped of contexts, which differ very little from lies. Did Triss take part in all this? She's clean in those terms. Innocent as a child, but only to a point. I assure you, she has not been honest with you about many other matters. Why did all this happen? Murdering monarchs, what interests did it serve? I can't fathom. Help me get out of here and I'll explain all and lift the spell from Saskia. Take these shackles off me and lead me to my house. I beg you. I'll tell you everything. Everything. The clock's ticking. Time is of the essence. Why do you do this? Would you take vengeance on a blind woman? Shillard said they've got Triss. I have to free her before they put out her eyes too. Going to the Nilfgaardian camp is suicide. And leaving a friend is villainy. Only I know how to break the spell that holds Saskia. Get me out of here. If I die, she'll remain forever spellbound. Uh, I gotta save my homie. Saskia will remain an enslaved monster through your wickedness. You deserve to die. Even if you reach Triss, you will not free her. Sure I will. I'll trade Shillard for her. And what will Yorvith say when he learns you abandoned Saskia? You worry about what he'll do to you. I doubt he'll see your blindness as sufficient punishment. Do you think Marigold's innocent? You have no right to judge her. Goodbye, Isleheart. Oh. Move your ass, Excellency. This is preposterous. What do you aim to achieve? I want to see Triss. How did you get in here? Put that sword down. Only after I cut your throat. The choice is yours. I know of a tunnel. Then you can be my guide. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy sleepy. Holy shit. Uh. Oh. And, dude, like, I, I really gotta walk, like, all slow like this the whole way? Come on. I love the lighting in this game. It's very cool. Very good. It's the tunnel to the net. You make an exceptional guide. Go. Damn dirty rat. One false move and your ambassador will never see Nilfgaard's son again. My men won't let you leave here alive. They will if you ask them to, Excellency, and I believe them. Reynolds' ambassador's orders come from the Emperor himself. He'd rather die than give you Mary Gold. Then he'll die. No, mark my words, you will. Unless you release me. It's not too late. You're boring me. Pick up the pace. Why do you care for that sorcerer so much? Go. Are you in love with her? A poor choice. Out of the way, all of you, or the old man dies. Hold there! I'm not joking. I know. And I advise you not to hesitate. Kill him. For we shan't move one bit. Renwald! He who brings me the witcher's head 
will get the Order of Merit. But Ambassador Fitz Estelin. Your Excellency. Orders from the capital. Now I'll have to kill you all. What are you waiting for? Get him! Put up a fight. So I can't go through this door right here? Oh. Did I loot this? Yeah, okay. Those tents are very, um, extravagant looking. Ah, oh, shit, I can't loot any of this. Where do I go? Can I jump down? Oh. It wouldn't let me do that earlier. Whatevs, man. Whatevs. Did you really think you could just prance in here? Make yes. the Emperor proud. Kill him! I actually did think that. Die, the Imperial Army's ranks are endless. Uh, okay. Die, dog. I'm trying to get them all together. Come here. Come here. Can I climb up here now? Oh, do they know what I haven't done in a minute? Like, all those junk items. I haven't sold anything. And, like, I don't know. I couldn't tell you the last time I did. I don't know why I just thought of that. But I did. So fuck. Congratulations, Richard. They were my best men. You should have picked them more carefully, or trained them better. Or perhaps they were ready for any foe but you. Free Triss, or join them. You amaze me. How can you risk your life for a witch? Let's just say we're close. I mean, you're in love with her. You wouldn't risk your neck otherwise. But you don't know everything about her. What are you talking about? Your friend and the other witches conspired against your rulers. You lie. You think it impossible? Triss was loyal to the crown. You're a fool. 
that's what happens when tits take over a man's mind. I don't believe you. That's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show you Empire's true power. Surround him! I kill the wizard. Shape to the Empire. Shield bearers, forward! Hell, look at the guy behind. What are you doing? Alright, whatever, kill that guy, fine. Yes, you did. All right. Well, I got new uh, <clears throat> gauntlets or uh, plans for one anyway. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, girl. Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the executioner. Did they torture you? They've tried various things, but they got nothing from me. I traveled half the world to find you. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. I'd slaughter half the Nilfgaardian army for a friend. I know you're a member of the Lodge, Triss. I also know the Lodge was behind Demavan's assassination. Geralt, I... I trust you. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses. Sheila and Philippa have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Calm down, Triss. Reynold F. Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, so tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanad massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization. A secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philip is not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. Demavend hated mages. No more than Hensel Doradovit. Sheila and Philippa saw Demavend as the weakest ruler. His son, Stennis, blows hot and cold. Plus, he who controls the Pontar Valley controls the north. So it was in Edirne that a possible rebel emerged, preaching the idea of a new state. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. 
When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. We never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demaven. Them being the Witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything. I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edern. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I met the troll and fell in love with you. He saved me, tended to my wounds. But when he started treating me like a caged canary, I fled. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Dwin. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me, but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Ever find out what Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam? I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few horns. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoia'tael. What did she want from Yorveth? The Scoia'tael were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do, given that a war with Hensilk was practically inevitable. Who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demaven's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demaven was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Voltes died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Voltes, and Sheila was working with Letho. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told her that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. A fairy tale, but Saskia bought it. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. Philippa controlled Saskia with her spells. Figures. The woman's a control freak. She miscalculated by coming to Loch Nguyen. Radovid had her imprisoned and then blinded. That's impossible. I was there. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanet Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions, and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Eilhart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. Ooh! They just dropped a bunch of, bunch of heavy shit on me here. What is that? Alright, let's go. More little bags I didn't loot. Those Nilf Guardians, that's your work? They followed their leader too blindly. Who killed one of them? They didn't slaughter themselves. Damn it.
They didn't kill themselves. They got got. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. Tris. Yes? That was some mess. I wouldn't want to see you hurt like that again. Don't worry. I'll manage. See you at the top. All right. All right. I'm going to stop there. Um, I, the next gameplay might be it. I know the credits are very long in this game. I mean, credits are at least 30 minutes. So the, the last gameplay of this might be kind of a longer one, but most of it's going to be credits. But um, yeah, I'm going to go. So I'll see you for what might be the last uh, uh, gameplay of this. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.